Welcome back. Hey, it is Cheapo time again in the Cheapo Nation. And boy, do I have something kind of funky, kind of fugly. I don't know. Is this the type of meter you'd want to bring home to mom? A little on the <clears throat> side to me. But you know what? Hey, it's not all about looks, is it? I'm talking no less about the KJ103. Yeah, that is in the Cheapo spotlight today. Hey, I ordered this meter a long time ago and it finally arrived. So glad it is finally on the KJ channel. It actually seems to make a, a line of multimeters per se and clamp meters. Um, it comes with a 2020 catalog as well. Uh, so quite a bevy of testing instruments um, but today we're only concerned with the KJ103 as well you do get a couple of these uber handy dandy crocodile clips um, very very nice always a bonus when you get these with your cheap home multimeter you do get your test leads yes um, I'm not expecting anything super wow from these but you know what you never know. You never know. That's the fun part in Cheapo Land because sometimes we have really pleasant surprises. Hey, you know what? Weird. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's kind of funky. Different shroud on top and uh, a little bit pointy. Nothing crazy. At the reverse end, we have a nice, nice shrouded end. Oh, let's see if we can get that off. <sighs> Cat 2 1000 volts is what they say. Um, definitely a different feeling uh, lead, I have to say, on the small side. But you know, I like my leads small. Um, yeah, it should be interesting to see how these are in the world of continuity. We'll soon find out. And finally, of course, you get your instruction manual, but it is all in Chinese. So, uh, yeah, too bad, so sad, but you know what? At least it has pictures. Ugh. Spec-wise, this meter is not gonna do much for you. Oh, 20 mega ohm, that's it, that's all. 2000 microfarad or two millifarad, 600 volts AC-DC, yeah, pretty blase. And uh, resolution-wise, 2000 counts. So, oh, I know, I know, but hey. The KJ103 is also a smart meter, uh, smart in the sense that it is uh, going to tell you the volts AC, DC or resistance. Uh, if you need your capacitance done, you got to go into the capacitance mode. Uh, same for current. So, oh, you know, it's smart, but to a degree. Yeah. You know, fit and finish wise, it's not bad for a cheapo. Uh, I paid 25 bucks from AliExpress Canadian, about 20 bucks US for this. So, you know, that's... Uh, Okay, um, does have that nice big bold display and that is probably the caveat for this meter because it's going to have that uh, reverse EBTN style display, but we'll look at that in just a second. Let's start off with the corpus rigamortis. No, 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 just a corpus here. The body, it is um, chunky and pretty solid, pretty solid, so uh, not too bad. Oh, and we do have that quality of assurance on the back. It passed all of the tests in 2020. Thanks, KJ. I've never seen a fun button on a multimeter. This is definitely a first. But hey, who doesn't want to have a little bit of fun? Oh, that was just weird. Take a closer look at the main operating buttons. Starting at the left, we have our fun, also known as a function button. At the top of that, we have our power on off, below the hold, and on the right, our non-contact voltage, as well as the flashlight. Finally, we have an LED on the top right for continuity and non-contact voltage. And we do have the CE logo, which means not too much. At the bottom of the meter, if you have vision problems, you will be very happy because the font is huge. We have our high current and milliamps. In the middle, we have our common. And on the far right, we have our basic input for all of the auto functionality, including resistance, voltage. And yes, this multimeter is true RMS and it does have the auto power off in about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the display for the first time and we are greeted with that EBTN display. Now it looks a little on the dim side, doesn't it? It, it does, and you know what, it, it is. These are brand new fresh batteries, but it is definitely on the dim side. In fact, let me just turn a light out here. And you know what, it is a little bit better, 
but yeah, wow, that is not a super so verbal. So you turn it on, you get into the automatic mode. That's what the AT stands for. And you're also in the auto power off the APO. And basically in this functionality, you can test your volts AC DC or resistance. So we're gonna start things off with a DC accuracy test. Already DC volts, high accuracy. We should be looking at 5.0000 volts DC. And we've got 5.04. So we're about four counts off. Hey, it's within spec. Now this being an auto meter, let's just take the probe out for a second. And let's just see how long it takes again to get back into range. Now, I don't know if you heard that, but there is a relay in this meter. Wow, it's pretty noisy too. Clickety click. Do you hear that relay? Yeah, anyway, it's there. It's a little noisy, a little irritating. 5.04, so it takes a couple of seconds before it gets that reading. Alrighty. Next up, a quick AC test. Should be looking about 120 volts AC. Still in automatic mode. Here we go. Put the probes in. Oh, what a noisy relay. And... There we go, 121.2 volts. Uh, true RMS, and yeah, that is... Pretty well, spot on. Next up is resistance. We're still in automatic mode. Here we go. Let's put the probe into the decade box. And yes, it does discern that we are in mega ohm, one mega ohm to be exact. This doesn't go very high once again, 20 mega ohms, that's it, that's all. So let's go to nine mega ohm. Whoa, a little, little, took a little long there. Let's try eight mega ohm. Okay, let's try six mega ohm. Three mega ohm, two mega ohm, one mega ohm. And you can tell the continuity kicks in when we get to a certain level here. Okay, let's try kilo ohms now, sitting at 900 kilo ohm, 910 kilo ohm, 930 kilo ohm, 950, 990 kilo ohm. Oh, righty, Aphrodite. 690, 490. Okay, well, as we get in the lower resistance range, it does seem to pick up a little bit speed-wise, but uh, eh, definitely this ain't no thoroughbred. I'm trying to get the um, alligator clip to, you know, just get in there properly, and it is really problematic. Funny enough, the uh, negative probe, no problem. Nice and in there, but uh, yeah, we're having an issue here with the positive, so eh, oh well. And for resistance, kind of a fail because it just doesn't go any lower than uh, two kilo ohm. So we can't really give it a good test here. Um, we can try, but it just kicks into the continuity feature. Oh, that's too bad. When you're cycling through the functionality of the meter, uh, you get that audible beep. But you know, you don't have a lot of range here, obviously. So, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna try LEDs and diodes next. So we'll put it into diode mode. And let's see what this guy can do, or can't do for that matter. Alrighty, we're now in diode mode. Here we go. And let's start off with a standard diode. No worries here. 2.23 forward voltage, that's fine. Already LEDs are next. Forward voltage drop, and it is lit. Good stuff, over to the yellow. Yes, oh wow, I didn't think anything was gonna happen. Hey, three for three so far. Over to the blue. No, no, no. And the white. Well, I guess that's not going to happen. So three out of five. Hey, hey, you know what? Better than I expected. 2.20 volts. The output voltage in diode mode. And on the back, we do have a flashlight, as you can see. Not really that bright, um, but still probably useful if you're in the complete darkness. To turn it off just hold down on the button again and you're All good right, to go we are in high current right now sitting at two amps and uh, in the background here you see this new gvda power supply i'll be reviewing this next week hang on for that i think you'll like what you see okay we're sitting here now at two amps let's take it up shall we you know we're just gonna max it out 10 amps even steven we've got that high current alarm going off Looking now remember, good. this shares the same input as the high current, so it really doesn't matter um, where you take it. You can start off at 100 milliamps, 
go up to 500 milliamps 800 it's just gonna fall over into the high current range so uh yeah there you go back of the tilt stand um it's a little bit tricky sometimes to pull up you really got to get your fingernail underneath there but once you do uh yeah it's in there nice and solid no flipping around so that's pretty good you can definitely one hand this meter no worries there either so yeah not bad Alrighty, it's continuity time. Stock test probes. Remember, we are in automatic mode, so we'll see how fast or slow continuity is. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. There's about a two or three second delay there, so. Oh, geez. Louise. Uh, we do have that visual uh, LED coming on, but it is painfully slow. Let's try the Party Pro Masters. Here we go. Oh, wow. No difference whatsoever. It is just slow as molasses in December. It's so slow. Maximum output in continuity mode, 74.5 dBA. Pretty loud. Finally, we're in NCV mode. Let's have a quick go, shall we? Oh, yeah. Have that visual as well as the audible. Yeah, it seems to be sporadic, but when it does catch a latch, it definitely uh, lets you know about it. So, yeah, not bad. And if you're wondering, that hold is a standard touch hold. Yeah, nothing special going on here. Already right, going to take it apart and take a look on the inside. Get into the main battery housing. We have one Phillips screw. And as you can see, oh, gosh, yeah, no, no threaded goodness, nothing. Just metal into plastic. Oh, not my favorite. All right, let's take it off. Four Phillips screws and we are in. And yeah, first thing you'll notice new shielding hey you know what in the cheapo world we know this is really no surprise <laughs> no surprise the inside, our look. current protection is that 5x20 ceramic uh, 250 volt 10 amp fuse jacks nothing special they are the split variety and they're soldered in there you know okay but uh, uh i see a few joints that are a little bit on the questionable side here we are at the top of the multimeter and uh, kind of interesting take a look at that placement for the speaker the piezo wow was that ever unusual or what right up against the uh, the top of the meter here funky cold marina and uh, look at the ncv that is the ncv what the hell is that anyway oh my god it looks like somebody left a spoon in the multimeter i have never seen something quite like this before but it is a uh, little piece of metal soldered on and that it's trying to give us some ncv so oh geez that's yeah wow and right beside that crystal oscillator over here and there's the led for the flashlight so whoa funky funky and if you notice the main ic in the middle i believe that is a dtl 0200 l that should be a dream tech uh, international ic and directly below the main ic we have the t24 c02 a this is a little eep rom and it, usually you see this alongside the uh, dream tech ic they're sort of always together not always but a lot of the time um this is read-only programmable memory and it is what stores all of the goodness for the main ic here we've got some programmable headers from the factory and uh, really that's about it um pretty sparse you can tell not much going on here so uh yeah let's put it back together come back with my closing thoughts closing thoughts for the kj103 smart digital multimeter you know what pass this one by because it just doesn't do enough it just doesn't have any you know oomph. so what is the point there's so many other better multimeters out there that can do uh above and beyond what this can so even that bother? display that reverse ebtn display just isn't good enough it's really kind of just uh, murky dark shallow does not uh, just just doesn't look good at all. I didn't bother with the capacitance. It worked fine, but I mean, really, you know, 2000 microfarad, uh, you know. Uh. No, at the end of the day, it's sort of a downer. Um, I was expecting a lot more from this ugly little multimeter. And you know what? It failed to deliver pretty well on any level. No, stay away. Stay very far away from the KJ103. The KJ103 gets a dismal 1.5 
out of five stars. Not quite sure what you're gonna use this multimeter for, but you know what? I think it would make a great doorstop. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.